I mean, Margate manager Reese Prestige after he sides 3 1 home defeat for Billericay Town. Reese, another defeat. It's now four games without a win. Is frustration the key word this evening? Um, a bit of frustration, but we need to be better. At the end of the day, we're at home. You can't concede three goals at home. Um, that's the bottom line. And I, I think defensively, for the first time, is we've, we've probably looked um, out of shape. Um, Disorganised and, and let too many people get slipped in. Um, going in 2 0 down at half time is never favourable, of course. Um, it was 1 0 until the 45th plus 1 again. Um, it, it's almost becoming too repetitive to keep asking the question, but is that something you're still banging your head against a brick wall about? Yeah, it's, 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 it's concentration, it's switching off. Um, so from half goal kick and we're screaming for people to get back, and we're walking because we think it's the end of the off. Um, which you can't happen. It can't happen. Uh, you've, you've got to get in your shape. Um, and th that they was good on the account, on the counter. So for me, instantly, my, you got to mentally look at it and go, all right, let's get back, let's get back in, let's go in, let's get into half time one nil, um, Dan, um, and then it's a different game. And you mentioned that point of you know it being in the players' heads, maybe that. Concentration slips in the final few seconds, minutes of a half. But what can you do as a manager to change that, or is it all on the players to do that? No, we've we've got to work on it. We've got to work on 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 ways that we, we, it doesn't happen. Um, and it shouldn't happen from our corner. That's 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 a fact. Um, and we've got to be more organised and and just have winning runners to get back in um, and have that desire to make sure that we don't concede another late goal. Um, but we did and it's, it's just not good enough. And obviously, in previous interviews and when we've lost one game before, you've always said about the mantra of never losing two in a row. This is now three, obviously, yeah. and then a draw before that. So it's four games now without a win. How hard are you now having to work with Ben and your coaching staff to motivate the boys ready for another tricky game away at Bognor Egypt this Tuesday yeah, night? Yeah, well, we've got to pick, they've got to pick ourselves up. We've got, we've got a game Tuesday. Um, but it's, it, it's now a must-win game. And that's that's the bottom line with it. Um, we've we've made it difficult for ourselves. We've had a decent home record um, until today, I think. And Tuesday is now massive because you don't want to get sucked into the other end of the table and looking over your shoulder. Um, I think we're more than capable of, of going higher um, and getting get, getting into that, that uh, top up top top table. Um, like, I think we're only three points off of 11th at the moment, and I'm not saying that that's, that's sort of easy, because it's not, um, but we've still been given a chance to do it, um, and I, I truly believe we, we can do that. We've just got to sort of gel together, um, stay in it together, work hard Tuesday, work hard Thursday, um, and like I said, you don't want to, you, no one wants to look over their shoulder, no one wants an R on their sort of CV. Um, that's players or manager or whoever it is. Um, so we, we can only get ourselves out of it and we'll work double hard to do it. Is that just sum up the Ishmael Premier Division that, like you say, three points off the top half and four points off the relegation zone? It's um, it's a crazy league, um, but is it now a case of you think you're looking over your shoulder more than looking upwards or are you trying to just stay positive? Uh, I think you always got to stay positive, but you, you, there's going to be that element because we are down there at the moment. Um, but... Like I said, in this league at the moment, you go a couple of games with wins, um, you fly back up. Um, but it's not easy. The league's not easy this season. So um, there's, a, there's a lot more competition. There's a, not, a lot more teams willing to go that extra mile. Um, players going that extra mile. So like I said, you just got to pull together, go, go again Tuesday um, and hopefully get some rewards. It's always hard to sort of try and shine some positive light on games when you've lost, especially at home. But I think you'll agree that one positive may have been the return of Ollie Box today from Dartford for another one month alone. Um, regardless of the scoreline, he didn't stop running, did he? I thought Ollie Box was excellent today, to be honest. He gave us something different. He pulled into pockets like we've asked. Um, really worked hard uh, off on, a, on and off the ball and found himself in really good um, opportunities. So I'm, I'm pleased for him. Um, I think it's, if I look at the game as a whole, We've probably created more chances than we have in the last three, four games. Um, but unfortunately, we, we, we've got to start taking some more chances. 
And of course, at the other end of the scale, Ollie, obviously quite young, but we have some very experienced players in the changing room. Um, how much will you be looking to them now to also step up and be a voice in the changing room and on the pitch even more so um, when we find ourselves in this really difficult time? Well, yeah, they, they've just had it in there, to be honest. They've just had it out in there. Um, T's been very vocal in there. Obviously, Robbo's been bo vocal. Um, and they're, they're, they're sort of making sure that we don't get dragged into it. Um, and it's time, it's time for players to step up. That's brilliant. Unlucky today. Cheers for your time, Rick. Cheers, thank you.